Do you know the most trafficked mammal in the world isn't an elephant or a rhino, but the pangolin? Astonishing, isn't it? This curious creature, the pangolin, often called the scaly anteater, is the most trafficked mammal on our planet, facing grave threats from illegal wildlife trade. It's not the pangolin's fault that its scales are considered valuable. These little-known mammals are fascinating beings, armored with keratin scales, the same material that makes up our human hair and nails. They are solitary creatures, primarily nocturnal, and have a unique defense mechanism. When threatened, they roll up into a tight ball, their tough scales acting as an armor against predators. However, this defensive strategy makes them an easy target for poachers. Their meat is considered a delicacy, and their scales are used in traditional medicine, despite no scientific evidence supporting their medicinal value. In the face of such challenges, what can be done to ensure the survival of these unique creatures? In China, a group of dedicated conservationists are waging a war against the illegal wildlife trade that threatens the pangolin. These brave men and women are fighting on the front lines to protect this unique creature, often referred to as the scaly anteater. Their task is not an easy one, as they face numerous challenges. One of the main issues is the rampant poaching of pangolins for their scales and meat. This illegal activity is driven by a high demand in traditional medicine and exotic food markets. It's a high-stakes game of cat and mouse with the conservationists working tirelessly to outsmart and outmaneuver these criminal enterprises. Habitat loss is another significant threat to the pangolin's survival. As urban areas expand and forests dwindle, the pangolin's natural habitat is being destroyed at an alarming rate. This, in turn, makes them more vulnerable to poachers. The conservationists are fighting back by working with local communities to protect existing habitats and create new ones where possible. Education plays a vital role in their strategy. By raising awareness about the pangolin's plight and the importance of biodiversity, they hope to reduce the demand for pangolin products. They hold seminars, organize school visits, and utilize social media to spread their message far and wide. Rehabilitation is another key aspect of their work. Rescued pangolins are often traumatized and in poor health. The conservationists nurse them back to health and, whenever possible, return them to the wild. Finally, they work closely with law enforcement agencies to ensure that wildlife protection laws are enforced. They provide training, share intelligence, and assist in operations to apprehend poachers and smugglers. Every day, these dedicated conservationists put their lives on the line for the pangolins. They face numerous challenges and setbacks, but they refuse to give up. Their passion and commitment are truly inspiring. Their tireless efforts are making a difference, but the battle for the pangolins' survival is far from over. So let's join them in their fight and do our part to ensure that these fascinating creatures continue to roam the earth for generations to come. So, what does the future hold for the pangolin and those who are fighting to protect it? The future of pangolin conservation is a tapestry woven with hope, tenacity, and innovation. In the face of adversity, the efforts to save these scaly anteaters from the brink of extinction are relentless. The key aspects of this battle include the implementation of stricter laws against illegal wildlife trade, bolstering enforcement measures, and fostering a global consciousness about the plight of the pangolin. Stricter laws can deter potential traffickers, while better enforcement can ensure these laws are more than just words on paper. But perhaps the most powerful weapon in this fight is public awareness. The more people understand and value these extraordinary creatures, the more allies the pangolin has in its corner. The fate of the pangolin hangs in the balance, but with the continued efforts of these dedicated conservationists, there is hope for these unique and fascinating creatures.